are free from quarantine. Woo! <laughs> So we've landed in Jakarta, it's about 2.30 a.m. on Sunday and uh, I woke up at 5.30 a.m. on the Saturday. So it's been a super long day. Um, the process to get through um, was basically checking documents, the same documents various times at various posts. Also a PCR test which was really simple and actually just a tickle up the nose. I think I've been really lucky with the healthcare professionals that I've had. Um, who administered the PCR tests. We already made some new friends um, in the, um, the immigration queue and now we've been waiting for our PCR test result here in the, um, I think it's the arrivals hall uh, of the airport. Everybody is just totally lumped together. There is some social distancing um, but I will do a quick pan through of the room. Most people seem to have left um, our hotel representative checks the QR code which will have our PCR test results every 10 minutes so hopefully we'll be able to get to go to our hotel very soon I think he feels how I feel. Um, Eddie has also gone to the toilet there is no toilets in this arrivals hall so he has actually just taken his passport and gone back into the luggage collection so hopefully everything's okay going with someone else to the hotel. Are we? Oh no we're not now. Do you uh, come with us to the hotel? Oh okay. Yeah. No. We ask now. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And our passport? Yeah, I will give uh, you. Um, it's, it's, actually, it's a big kit with us, but the slides for sure. Oh, okay. You can keep this up. Okay, thank you. And then we give to the hotel okay. when yes. we. Okay, yeah. thank you. I can't get anything else. Thank you for looking after us. Thank you. So Thank you. Hello. So welcome to our quarantine hotel here in Jakarta. We're staying at the Mayflower, which are the Marriott Executive Apartments, and we're gonna give you a tour of the standard executive room. So the most glamorous bit, of course, is that you get your own um, washing machine and tumble dryer, which is pretty cool. And then you have a normal coat cupboard as you can come in and you have a pretty good sized kitchen with full size fridge freezer and oven and dishwasher um, none of which we really used because the food is delivered to you daily and very cute bento boxes we have an amazing view of Jakarta and a nice lounge area and dining as well and then there's Eddie then this is the bedroom the bed is absolutely massive there's another seating area and desk and then you have 
the walk-in wardrobe and included is um, 10 pieces of laundry per day which is pretty cool and a very big bathroom, massive shower and bathtub as well which is quite nice. And we actually calculated that this um, apartment is the smallest in the Marriott range, but it's actually the same size as our first house in Guildford. So it's been really easy to quarantine here. There's been lots of space, not just to put our suitcases, but just to sit down. You know, we haven't had to be confined to having our meals on the bed and just sitting on the bed. So it's been great. And I'd highly recommend it as a place to stay. So we're making this video in mid-November 2021 and the current quarantine rules for Indonesia are that you have to stay two nights, three days in one of their quarantine hotels. We booked a bigger place that was probably bigger than our first house because we thought we would be on top of each other for such a long time, like eight days, it was original quarantine. But then it dropped down to three, well to five, and we thought, right, we'll stick to the same place. We've done our research, we really, really like this location. It's got a kitchen, it's got lots of things that we that we need and um, could stay comfortably. Then it dropped down to three days, two nights. And, but we still loved it, it's been great. Uh, the food has been good, not as hot as I would like. And by hot, I don't mean spicy, I mean temperature. It hasn't come in piping hot. It's always been quite warm, which I don't really like. And I guess the dinner especially comes quite early for Westerners. It comes between six and seven. Um, so you wouldn't have bought any snacks with you because you come straight from the airport uh, to quarantine. So you do actually get hungry, especially with jet lag, meaning that we've been awake until like three, four, five a.m. Um, However, yeah. they do have 24 hour room service with lots of good choices. I'm allergic to gluten and they did have some gluten free choices and so it was good. So we always ordered kind of an extra meal like three in the morning, <laughs> midnight snack uh, to eat and not lots of cakes so much. So definitely bring some snacks if you've got a sweet tooth. Yes, but the reason we actually stayed three nights in official quarantine rather than two was because um, when we arrived in Jakarta, our flight was delayed. Instead of arriving at 10, it arrived more around 11 p.m. And because you have to go through about two or three checkpoints before you get to do your PCR test in Jakarta airport, our PCR tests were done uh, seven minutes past midnight, so into the next day, meaning that by the time that we arrived in the hotel, we needed to, we were already on the next day. I think it's a really great location, especially if you've got time after quarantine to spend like a day or two to look around. You're um, near some sites, we're quite near between south and north uh, Jakarta. And one thing just to think about when you are out and about in Jakarta is to make sure that you have a copy of your full vaccination certificate with you or else uh, the likelihood is that you might not be allowed into the shopping centres or other restaurants. And you need the app as well so you can scan in every time. What's the app called? Yep. And uh, we will put a link to it in the description below. Or we can put it on the screen in text. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Awesome. Enjoy your quarantine and we'll see you in Bali.